should I take steroids? I am hard as a rock in my muscles and elsewhere. Um, <laughs> not right now, not right now. All right, guys, another episode of Car Talk here. And today I'm a little worried about the subject I'm about to talk about because it's one of those highly debated things. And I honestly don't really have a straightforward opinion for you, but I'm going to answer some questions that I get all the time. Um, and it starts happening when people become more novice lifters or expert lifters in the gym. Um, it happens a lot with younger males. And here it goes. Should I take steroids? Um, I'm not going to lie, as somebody who knows the uh, benefits and um, side effects of steroids, when I was a little bit younger, I definitely looked into it. And I will never, ever criticize you for thinking about it because it's something that crosses everyone's mind. So if somebody tells you that they haven't, you know, at least taken a thought about it before, they're probably lying to you. Uh, especially males. Um, it's actually getting more common with females doing fitness shows and their coaches kind of getting them to do it too, but it's definitely more of a male subject that we talk about. Um, my opinion personally, I did not do steroids. Um, if you look at my pictures, you can plainly tell that I'm not that big. Um, I'm pretty lean, but it's a lot of genetics and it's a lot of hard work. Um, that said, I have friends that have taken steroids before and I have no problem um, with them taking steroids. That's their choice. Everybody should have a choice. Yes, they're illegal. Um, it's hard to get them. It's hard to get the right, you know, steroids. Uh, it's hard to get real steroids. A lot of people end up in just or in taking stuff that's not real, um, and getting, you know, very bad side effects. Um, there's horror stories all over the internet. And if you search this on bodybuilding.com, you're going to get such a wide variety of answers about what you should take. Um, but here's the other thing. If you're getting older, you know, I'm getting into my, you know, 30s now, and hormone replacement therapy is a big thing. If you go to a fitness competition, hormone replacement therapy and companies that are doing that with doctors on board is becoming super popular. Um, does that mean it's the right thing to do? Not necessarily. But what they do is they give you a test. They're going to test your free uh, testosterone and kind of see if you fit within their guidelines of who should be taking testosterone or whatever they're prescribing to you. Um, and it's it's real, legit stuff coming from a doctor, coming from a good source. Um, it's kind of expensive. It's not going to be, you know, a cheap thing for you, but it is something that is legal. So there is that option. Um, this is a huge subject, and I could go on and on about it, but there are some things, guidelines that I want to tell you uh, if you're a younger male looking to get into steroids. Number one, do not take steroids if you're like 18 years old, all the way up to like 22, 23. You are going to ruin your development. So you gotta think of it this way. Your body is still developing into your mid 20s, maybe a little bit earlier, depends on your body type, but definitely not before 21. If you look at any good legitimate bodybuilder who will actually talk about steroids, they will tell you you shouldn't be taking steroids when you're 18, 19, 20 years old. Um, even 21, I believe, is pushing it. So don't get into steroids. You are going to ruin the production of testosterone for the rest of your life. And that goes with all the hormones because when you take one hormone, it affects all the other ones too. Um, you could be ruining your insul insulin sensitivity, all kinds of things. So it's not one of those things that you want to play around with and it's not something you can erase. I've met personal trainers who took them in their early, uh, well, teens, 20s, late teens, early 20s, um, and have long-term side effects. And they're like, I was an idiot in their personal training still. And now they're on hormone replacement therapy and they can't get off of it. And there are, you know, big time people that talk about this too. So if you're looking to take steroids, wait until you're of the right age, even if there is such a thing. Um, if you're getting older and you're like, hey, my testosterone is low. I'm not getting a lot of benefit in the gym. I don't have that energy. I can't, can't keep it up anymore. Um, no offense. It happens. Um, then maybe look into hormone replacement therapy. Me personally... I'm going to avoid it at all costs. Um, if I get to that age where I feel like it might benefit me, good. But for me right now in my early 30s, because I'm lifting heavy, I'm consistent in the gym, um, I'm taking the right supplements, which not a lot of supplements, eating the right food, staying on a good diet, I don't have problems with testosterone. I am hard as a rock in my muscles and elsewhere. Um, 
not right now, not right now. Uh, but uh, I don't have any problems, so why would I want to go into that? And I have no side effects. Like I'm all natural lifting. It's amazing. Now again, if you take steroids, I'm not. I'm not. You know, saying anything bad about you. It's it's everybody's choice, and I believe that should be. I wish they weren't illegal, so everybody would have the choice to do what they want. Um, but anyways, on that note, if you have any comments please leave them below. I would love to talk to you. Um, if you like this video or if it might help your son or um, somebody that you know of friends, send it to them. Um, please subscribe, like. I'm trying to build a good audience, um, putting out more content consistently. Um, and I really appreciate you watching this video. So have a great day. Peace.